Hello everyone, welcome back to more chess. Playing as Black at fifteen ten, as as always against Tima two times, I guess. Um, I don't know. Fourth pawn. I still have no idea what to play. Like most of the time. Okay. Yeah. 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 But. Like, I think I can just do this when it becomes an issue. Maybe I get the bishop out first so that I can do this without getting in his way. Sure. This also pins the knight, which is nice, maybe. And if pushed, I could go here. But I don't really want to. It requires takes. So I think if, if, uh, if they try to chase me away, I back up. Okay. I don't see the immediate problem with this. Now, a thing to keep in mind is this check. So far, it doesn't seem like a big deal. We could go here to stop it, or just have the knight available to get in the way. Um... Don't want to push this pawn because then we don't have this anymore. So we should make a home for the bishop. Make it nice and cozy. Making a lot of pawn moves. But my opponent's king side is I mean devastated, maybe. I guess they can they can go queen side, but like my pawns are pointing me in this direction, so that's the side I want to attack, right? Oof. This would be unpleasant. Well, I could go here, right? This is something I'm expecting to have to do sometime anyway. Let's not let a knight or a bishop into here. Way too many pawn moves. I'm so bad at the Sicilian. But I think soon we'll do something like this. Or I don't know. Bring the bishop back. It's just like I'm so undeveloped. I'm spending extra moves to put my bishop away and then develop another pawn. And I don't know. Why can't I just develop a knight first? That seems like it would be okay. I'd like to get pieces into this area, obviously. Okay, takes, takes would make my king side a little problematic. I don't know. It would give me an excuse to put the bishop here. I don't mind if they want to capture. So I think I'm just going to develop a knight threatening this so that they kind of have to take. And then if queen check, bishop block, it's in a pin, but it seems okay. I, yeah, 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 this this seems all right. Oh, I could actually take with the queen instead, I suppose. And they they don't like have to, you know. They they could try this first, for example. Hmm. There's not actually a good way to recapture that defends this pawn, is there? So I don't know. Maybe they would try something really oppressive, like this? I don't really want to take with my F-pawn. But I don't know if I can bear for that pawn to stick around any longer. Okay. So I think... I think... No, I'm going to take with the queen. It, it makes this pawn a little bit weaker, but it keeps my king from getting absolutely murdered. It develops a piece. I can support the pawn later like this. And I 
don't see any immediate danger for the queen here. And she threatens cool stuff like getting back here eventually. Not right now, obviously, but she makes the king side a lot less safe for my opponent. Weaknesses in my position include this and the fact that I have no kingside development at all. <laughs> you know, definitely both sort of problems. This happens to me so much when I try to, like, play any kind of Sicilian since I don't know what the right lines are. I just end up with, like, I I've had this happen before and it sucks. So I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do differently, but surely something. Can we play against this bishop, maybe? It would involve pawn moves that I don't really want to have to make right now. But this this comes with some pretty good tempo. If, it, if these were pawn moves I wanted to make, I don't know if they are. It's more important to, for me to get some something going on on the king side. So I'm thinking like this, this, this is how I would like to develop. Maybe not in that order. Maybe knight first. Where is he going? Here? Well, we could chase the bishop away first to this square, where he has to go. And then start advancing. Or is there something like this? Does this make any sense? Pawn takes, they're still defending the knight, so it didn't really work. <clears throat> oh, what about here? Here? Tracking down the bishop before it can duck behind a pawn? Then we'd be threatening to win the knight. So this, this, here... They have to move the knight immediately. Or else defend it again somehow, which I think is impossible. And they would probably move it here, and then this? Looks like, where else are they going to put him? Here? Not that amazing, I think. I don't know. I mean, if they go here, there's various kinds of trouble, right? Ooh. I didn't really see this bishop move coming. Yeah. Ah, they're threatening this supported now. I see. That's pretty freaking bad. Oh, no. So, say I back up with the queen, they have this. So I think I just don't do that. I just have to like, give up some material here to not have this problem happen. Like, bad things are happening to me. I just sort of want to minimize them somehow. Takes here, takes, takes. I got something out of the deal, not, not as much as I would have liked. Okay. Yeah. I didn't consider this. I was like, yeah, I have it defended, but I don't really have a stable defense of it. Okay.
Oh, I lose this anyway. Okay, get me out of this fucking game. Uh. <laughs> Man, that's a bummer. So, like, this opening was awful. I don't know how it happened. Oh no, I was winning right here. This is winning for me. Pawn here. I didn't realize pawns could move that far. I thought about knight blocks. But that's like over attack. You know, there's enough here. Pawn push. Now the bishop can't support this square. Two bishops and a knight are all under attack and basically undefended. Oh, man. Uh, okay, well, we learned something. And apparently the opening wasn't awful. Like, it was bad. But I've had worse. So this was wrong. I thought it was kind of cool. But apparently the problem is it leads me to like this, where the opponent gets um, a bunch of pawn moves and I have to spend a bunch of time doing nothing. Oh, actually, this is apparently bad for them? There's some better answer to my attack? My, my not attack, but bringing in the bishop. Oh, right, just knight here. I've made this mistake so many times. I'm sure this has come up exactly like this before. Discovering an attack on the bishop and this? Well, but then I just take the queen. And I'm like, oh no, you got me. Well, I don't know. Here, here, suppose takes queen, suppose this. Then I would escape with the bishop, so I don't think... Well, no, my queen is in danger as well, so I'd run away with her. Let's say there. Now they get the rook, but, like, they didn't win all that much in this exchange. Uh, I guess they're winning the, the knight soon, maybe. Yeah, maybe that is a problem. So, I don't know. Just put this out first? I kind of hate it. It prefers developing the knight. I I thought of that, but I didn't quite like it because it doesn't really help protect this square. And I might want to put the knight here to protect it. Apparently I don't need to. Anyway, it says this is fine. So, suppose this... Oh yeah, I always forget. They they can sack the bishop and bring me out here and then go in for this and get the bishop that way. Yes, that has definitely happened to me before. Whether in a game or in an, an analysis, I don't remember. So we were supposed to do this. And then it's just crushing, right? We pick up a bishop, and we're still attacking two pieces. Ah, we're not attacking this one, because the queen's here. I see. All right, it's not that good. They castle to threaten my queen, I guess? I don't know. All right, I mean, that wasn't horrible. The opening was, I guess, horrible. Hmm. We'll get another one in. That was a pretty quick game. Seems like the 1510 match keys have been pretty slow for me recently. I don't know why. Okay, we have black against Jogo Bean 88. 
I, nothing's gonna stop me. I'll just keep playing the Cillian and keep losing. Okay, this came up... This is exactly what happened last game, right? And I just, like, played this immediately. And it was still fine. Bad stuff happened later. Let's just remember this is not any good. Try to do something with my king side instead. Okay, we're not going to do this. We learned that. Um... This, and suppose a knight comes here. We just deflect the bishop, I think? Or not deflect, but we block the bishop. Intercept it, whatever. Makes this pawn a little weak. But hopefully before too long I'll manage to actually castle and then it won't feel so bad. Huh. Did I stop this? I probably should. I don't know. I mean, if here... This would be bad at the moment, but maybe it would be good later. So, I don't know. This seems okay. I guess now this knight is a little harder to dislodge. Also, I've made four pawn moves, and my next move that I'm planning is... Well, maybe not right away, but someday soon I'm planning this pawn move. Seems like I'm maybe overdoing it there. Okay. So we... I guess we could put the bishop here. It happens to be defended by the knight. This is a space I don't usually have available. The knight and the rook. But I don't want to take it with the knight or the rook, I don't think. The rook maybe wouldn't mind. No, he wants to castle. So I think we'll just do this. I don't really want to allow that. And we want this at some point. I don't know. Do I really want a knight here with this pawn there? It kind of sucks. Why not like this? Yeah, that would be better. It temporarily blocks my bishop's view, but he's not doing anything at the moment, so I think it's fine. Can I develop the bishop here now? In this game, I think it would be okay. Because this discovery doesn't actually matter. Even if it's there, which I'm not sure. Maybe it is. Yeah, it would be. Check, takes, check, discovery, right? I don't want to allow takes takes. I could try and reinforce over here. And and then this, but then this pawn is kind of sad. So what if I just captured here, inviting the knight? It's a good square for the knight. Let's me get in this with, well, they don't really want to launch the F-pawn, I don't think. So it makes the queen do something? Okay, fine.
And there's there's like this check, which doesn't quite do anything. Oh, I forgot. I didn't actually have to take if I didn't want to. I could have forced them to take, and then I have like this if I want it to defend without moving the the D pawn. It's kind of an interesting idea. I don't know how great a benefit it would be to have my queen out in the center right now. Probably not so great because of stuff like this. And a knight controlling a lot of the squares she might otherwise want to go to. Yeah, this is a pretty hostile rank for her to live on. Opponent appears to be calculating some tactic, perhaps? I mean, I guess I don't necessarily have to just let them take the pawn and, and go here. I could play this instead, forcing a trade, but I don't want to. This bishop is great. The knight is good, too. But the center of the board is not so scary for their queen as it is for mine. So I think they would be welcome to this idea. Well, I get to develop a knight with tempo in that case. I get to develop the queen with, I don't know, it's it's still like a scary development to make, right? Because where is she going to go after this? Oh yeah, the king doesn't even have to move, of course. I knew that, but I wasn't thinking that actually you can defend the king and attack the queen on the same move. So it's not, it's doubly not good, I think. But I think I like takes takes here. It means I can develop this knight with a little bit less uh, hesitance, maybe. But this is a kind of bad square to, I don't know, my rook's there at the moment. But he might leave soon, and then, yeah, if I castle, they have this, and then just try to get the queen here would be an idea for my opponent. Check here. Here? There's this, I guess, which I don't like. Oh, this would be horrible. The queen would just take my rook. So I don't even get the tempo for this trade. So I could attack the knight. I guess that's fine. What if I went after the queen first? Just this, I think, would be fine for them. And my bishop would have nowhere good to go. What about this, this? Doesn't seem that bad. I 
I don't know. I might have trouble defending the knight, actually. It's walking into a situation where it's already attacked once. They attack it again. I have to do something like this, or well, this maybe. I'm going to try it. I think I'll be okay. I don't know if this is even a real threat, now that I look at it, because, like, they can just do this, and what am I going to do, invite another center pawn for my opponent? Doesn't seem great. But I guess it's a developing move that might prompt them to make a non-developing move, and maybe that's worth something. Okay, they're just going to trade knights. I think I'm happy about that. I have a pretty good pawn center now. I mean, it's not amazing. They're not as far advanced as I might like. But it seems okay. This is maybe my next move. Aiming for here. If kicked, this would be all right. But obviously, I'd prefer to castle first. Hmm. I have this. Hurting their structure. What about if I try the queen here first? The knight's pinned. They could defend it like so, maybe. Or so, I guess, would be fine, actually. And then they would have a discovery against my queen with a move like this. Might not be so great. Where's the knight going? Here? I don't know. Let's just get my own knight out. He's not going anywhere in particular either, but I want to be able to castle. And this is an okay home for him, as is this. I don't really have any specific plans this game. I usually don't. If I were a better player, I would, but I'm not. So there you have it. I don't even know which side of the board I should be trying to do something on. I feel like it's the queen side, right? I have this, this bishop eyeing up that diagonal. And it's sort of easy to get a queen over there. And I have this half-open file. So that should probably be something I'm considering.
What about like this? Now there's a problem for the knight, actually, now that I look at it. So he's attacked twice, defended once. I guess that was like, that's really no worse than just pawn here. Either way, he has to move. Okay, so I didn't want this. Um, do I? Maybe I do. Like, what's the big problem with that? They get to trade queens and take away my castling rights, but is that so important? If the queens are off, it's not as big a deal, I feel like. I mean, what about just this? That's no good. I dropped... Well, I don't immediately drop the knight. Yeah, I do. Because takes, takes, and they still get the bishop. This was the other thing that I would consider. It doesn't win a pawn, but it keeps my castling rights and keeps the queens on. I mean, they can already take away my castling rights if they want with something like this, right? So what's the big harm of them doing it this way? Takes? Suppose takes. Ah! No, there is a tactic. Takes. Check. Now the king can't hang on to the queen. Okay, so this capture is real, real bad. I can go here, and that seems okay. But what if I wanted to go here? That would be bad. This? Probably also bad. Let's just go here. We like this spot. And now I feel like they, they just have to take the pawn, don't they? Or else lose it? Lose their own pawn, rather? It's attacked so many times, and even if you push it, it's attacked twice, defended once. And if it takes, I think I'm pretty happy about recapturing with the queen. I guess this might be an issue, but I would just trade queens and be okay with that, I think. If anyone has an attack right now, it's my opponent, so I should be okay with trading queens. Yeah, throw this in there. Well, I'm glad I noticed that tactic against my queen. It comes up like sometimes in puzzles which is the only reason i even considered it so that there's some evidence that puzzle training is doing me some good i don't know i guess the real reason i considered it was because i was thinking about losing casting rights and i noticed this was another way to do it but i might not have noticed the consequences if i hadn't seen the puzzles like that I feel like this pawn was a nice advantage that they had. Oh, you know what? Maybe I want this. So that this pawn isn't isolated. Takes. We have this nice duo. Queen takes would obviously be bad. Queen check. Doesn't seem like that big a deal, but maybe it is. I think I would block with queen, yeah. Uh, but then they get this because my queen is pinned, no? No, I could just take with king. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Try to have some kind of a pawn center. I 
I'm not castled yet, but hopefully I get over here someday. And if not, I don't know, this is not so bad a home. Probably is. And the moment they give me a chance to do something non-urgent, I think, is when I would like the castle. Right, if they don't make an immediate threat, castling would be a good move. But there are a lot of ways they could make immediate threats, so I shouldn't really expect to castle immediately by any means, even if I might hope to. There's still this pin. Okay. This is the threat, but don't I just castle to get out of that? Ah, that's, they're threatening this as well. I see. Knight here? Kind of defends everything? And attacks the queen? Should be fun anyway. I guess there's a bishop here, which is a little scary. I guess queen here also would have defended everything, but it wouldn't have attacked the queen and the bishop. He has to do a lot of things now all of a sudden. Kind of has to go to one of these two squares, I think, to defend the bishop and also not be attacked. I don't particularly see how to exploit that restriction that she has, but it does seem useful. I guess queen here could be met with this pawn push, so probably not that great. Well, I'm not thrilled to make that pawn push, am I? Now that's illegal, I'm pinned. But I could put my queen here and then threaten this, pinning the queen while I capture a bishop. That seems pretty fun. Here. Suppose, though, bishop there. What am I doing about that? Not sure. Well, what if I just develop this bishop instead? I can add another attacker to the bishop. Or even this? Hang on, isn't that insane? This knight's defended by my bishop. I get this fork. Here... Suppose they try capturing, I can recapture, and I'm, like, up a bit. Do they have some way out of this with check, maybe? Or is the pin that I'm putting my knight in not worth it? Because, like, here... Here, here, queen... I don't know, I think I, think I have enough tempo. Well, okay. 
here, 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 here. They've gotten both of my pawns for just one piece. But it's my turn, and so something like this is not yet an issue. I can defend, I can unpin the knight, say, by castling, actually. No, it would have to be by here, because the knight would, no, he's defended. I think I'm going to go with this. We can pre-move this capture, which I th think would be a reasonable thing for them to do. I don't know which piece they're capturing with. Oh, hang on. Maybe we shouldn't pre-move it. Uh-oh. What if takes, takes, check? I guess this is fine. Okay. I think that's probably what they should do, though. Capture with the knight. Because the bishop can escape with check, which the knight can't do. Maybe they don't even want to escape. Maybe they want to trade, trade. Because I can't recapture, right? So there is this check, which attacks here, but I don't think it accomplishes much. Right, my idea was this. Oh no, they're getting, they're attacking the rook! And if I move the rook, they attack the pinned knight. The bishop's even defending the queen. Oh, no. Well, maybe I can... Maybe I can dodge this by counterattacking. But I think the queen could just back up. No, then I win the bishop. Okay, let's, let's move the rook and see if I can survive this. So this is sort of what I see happening, right? Oh, they have this, don't they? Well... Maybe that's okay. Weird, weird kind of position in the middle there. You know, there's, um, oh, the bishop gets out with check. Is that any good? I'm not sure why. Why not just this? You know, like, people talk about memory, right? It's easy to remember things if they come in chunks. Um... 
right? If you if you are completely unfamiliar with English and you see some English letters, you kind of have to like learn the shape of each letter and remember this is like this is the kind of curvy thing with a dot on it, and then there's the circle and a a circle with a kind of thing under it, right? It's a little harder. Um, whereas if you know English, you can say, oh, it's, you know, Jogo Bean, and, like, it's maybe two syllables, kind of, or three, I guess, kind of chunks. And um, this is often mentioned with regard to chess masters, um, who, if you show them a, a board position, you know, chess pieces on a board, they're much better at Oh, I see. That stopped this getting out with check. Maybe that's why I needed to take with the king? Unpinning the knight? I see. I made a mistake there, I guess. I just kind of did this because it seemed natural, but I don't know. Maybe this would have been a problem as well. I was talking about other stuff. Um... Shoot. Well, opponent saw that I had this and found a way to deflect it. That was pretty well done. Ah! Rook here, though. Then it takes, takes, pinning the queen. Anyway, if you show them a board position with, like, pieces on it, they do a better job of remembering the position if it's a reasonable position that would have arisen in a game. They can say, they have some chunks, like, okay, the king's Indian, and then the exchange on the so-and-so and the whatever. I'm not good enough to make up a plausible example. Um, I, don't, I guess this doesn't work. They can just move the queen, and then the knight... But then, then the knight's not pinned, so... The pinner has become the pinny. Anyway, and so I was just wondering, like, this position that I'm in seems absurd. Is it the kind of thing that they would be good at remembering? If you just show them, like, if you just put pieces on the board at random, they're way worse at remembering the the pieces. Like, if you, if you give them a bunch of board positions and ask them to remember them after some amount of time, they're better at remembering the ones that came from real games. And I wonder, like, just how far you have to get to arrive at the board that a chess master would not be able to remember, and if we're there yet. Um, this check... takes away castling rights, which seems maybe useful, but also... Um, maybe they just want to stay in the center? No, I don't think so. They want to go queen side. Let's stop that. And then we can castle king side, getting a rook to this file. Not immediately, but eventually. This is the latest castling. Oh man! So they'll have some tempo moves. Like I'll have to back up my bishop when this happens. But I'm I'm happy to castle first. No, no, no! I should have taken the bishop. Idiot! That would have been a much better play. Okay, well I'm getting it anyway. So so there. Um. I don't think they're doing anything much with this rook. And we threatened maiden one, so that's nice. Okay. Well, success of a sort. Really... Really a messy situation in the middle where I just, like, kept kind of lucking into defenses that I hadn't really planned out ahead of time. Okay, apparently I was ahead all along. But not by that much some of the time? I don't know. So Knight Hero was no good, huh? I thought it was really cool. Because the Queen is making, like, these two threats. Knight here defends against them and doesn't seem to come with any obvious disadvantage and also creates this other threat? Well, 
We obviously have to do something, because if I just make a passing move, checkmate would be a bad outcome for me. I guess there's this. I'm not sure like how great that really is. I guess there's this queen check. Again, though, I don't see the point. I don't know. I mean, this check just... I'm not sure. Maybe it's okay because it, like, puts a piece into a pin, but I think they would happy, be happy putting the bishop here, I think. Well supported by a pawn. Not easy to attack with a, with a pawn or anything. So I don't know. I guess if there's anything, it would be this. It's the kind of interference move I often miss. This is about as bad as what I played. Just castle. I thought that dropping this pawn would be a problem. Why isn't it? Check. Okay. I'm still down a pawn. Check. Okay, so I'm down a pawn, but I get this attack, and apparently the attack is so serious that they just have to castle and drop the bishop. What if they don't do that? Well, what else are you supposed to do? Ah, it says actually, yeah, I was like, you can defend with the queen, right? But... <laughs> Rook here, oh, what a move. Yeah, please, feel free to my rook. Just stop defending this attack, and I'll checkmate you. The queen has to move again. And, okay, it doesn't seem like there's an immediate, like, killer threat. But we just have, like, a lot of stuff going on against this king. He can't castle because then we win the bishop. And he can't not castle because then the bishop remains pinned and we have time to build up to this attack, I guess, is the idea. Interesting. So can I extrapolate from that to, like, in other games, why would this queen takes pawn be bad? Why don't I have to worry about this? I mean, exposed king, sidelined queen, I guess? I don't know. I probably... I'm not going to recognize that issue. So it doesn't like f5. I thought this was like my only out. Am I supposed to make this check immediately somehow? Oh, maybe I am. Because where does the king... No, they just have this. Right, I remember now. I don't quite see what that accomplishes. And I don't see any other way to really attack the queen. Oh. That would do, I guess. Is this better for some reason? It keeps this pawn here, which I might like. And it develops a bishop who can threaten this stuff. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. So now the queen has to get off this diagonal, which means we're, we're, I mean, I don't know. Suppose this. Or, or indeed, as they played in the game here. No, wait, they didn't play that, did they? What did they do? They delivered a check with, oh, right, they, they played queen here first. 
right? And then I blocked with bishop. But I could have blocked with knight. Oh my god. No, I can't. The, the knight is pinned. This hasn't happened yet. Okay, so they, they attacked with bishop first, and I'm supposed to run. This is apparently awful. If I run, the knight is unpinned. But they can just take it. So why not? No, they can't. Well, they could. No, the queen's under attack. Right. Huh. I don't quite understand this. But anyway, it's saying we shouldn't have blocked. We should have run. Because, I think, after this... They have... Yeah, okay. It says it's actually really bad to run with the king. They have... I no longer have this follow-up check. Um, To here. That's what they were trying to take away, I think. Well, I don't know. Was it? Because this actually... I don't really see what this accomplishes. It defends the knight, but who cares? Huh. No, this was this was how I won the game. Get out of here. Don't tell me this is bad. Ah. Uh. This leads to a draw. This was my coolest move of the game. Don't take this away from me. Oh, this pins the pawn. That's an interesting idea. Nope, also bad. Oh, right, then you can just take. It undefends the knight to do that. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm lost. I don't know. Rook? There? Why? I mean, okay, computer analysis off. Suppose takes, which is what I thought would be a pretty cool move for them. Oh, I see. It threatens to pin the queen even if they don't capture. Because it's supported by the pawn. And if they get the queen off of this file, then I can finally move the knight. Suppose... I don't know. Here. Maybe there's some reasons that this is bad, but it does seem like a nice central location for her. Now I have this. And the king can't castle. Yeah, that's an important detail, isn't it? It's, um... Anywhere the queen can go, I have this rook move. And then there's no way to defend... To... Well, I guess the queen could go, like, here... And then this, you're still allowed to castle. Hmm. But I get the knight out to here, maybe? And then that's a problem for the queen, because it piles up on the bishop? That sort of idea? I see. I think that makes sense. So let's just check this. Suppose, as the game suggests, um, here. 
it says they should take the knight anyway. But what if they don't? What if they get their queen off of this file and go, as I guessed, here? We get this in here, and indeed, knight here is an important resource. Whereas the move I played, they can just castle. They don't have to take here, and my rook is kind of dumb. Yeah, I thought it was important to defend the knight, but I didn't really consider that um, the counterattack is more important. This is a counterattack that also defends, or it's a defending move that counterattacks, but only if they make a mistake. Whereas this is a counterattack that doesn't defend, but it's okay because you don't have to. And it's saying go for this and and just castle now. And I'm off a big chunk of material. Okay. Well, that was cool. All right. We're going to make it in, well, not quite under an hour, huh? Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.